RCDSB Tech Academy. Think, talk, tech, quick clips. The following video is going to describe the app smashing process. App smashing is the process of using one app to create some work and then moving it into another app and using the functions and features of that app to enhance that original piece of work. So essentially what you're doing is you're using multiple apps and the functions and features of each of those apps to create one piece of work. There are two things that you need to know whenever you're app smashing. The first thing that you need to know is that your Photos app is your parking lot for your App Smash. Your Photos app is where you'll start to store all the work that you've created in one app before you move it into another app. The second thing that you need to know is you'll have to choose a destination for where all your work will end up. So you need to uh, choose where your final contact, content will be compiled. It might be an ebook. It might be a video screencast and explain everything, or it might be a collection of pictures. An example of an app smash would be if you were having students write a book on patterns. Students might use the Google Chrome internet browser to search out a real life pattern. They then would save that real life pattern from Google Chrome into the iOS Photos app. They then might use Explain Everything to import the picture that they've just saved and do a screencast describing the pattern rule that is in that picture and how it relates to learning that they've done in class. They then would take that video that they've made, that screencast, and they would save it back to the Photos app again. They then would open up their Book Creator app and begin writing their book and import the video that they made and Explain Everything from the Photos app into their ebook. Whenever we're app smashing, there are a few buttons that we need to know that will allow you to take the content that you've made in one app and push it to or move it to another app. The Save Image button will allow you to take an image or a video that you've made in one app and push it to the camera roll. The Open In button here will allow you to take what you've made in one app and share it with another app, which could also be the Photos app or even another app that you have on the iPad. This is the airdrop button and it will allow you to take what you've created in one app and share it with another iPad. These two buttons are your share buttons or your export button and both of these will do the same thing that your open in another app button will do. For this app smash the camera was used to take a picture of a pattern with beads that a student had made that picture was then saved to the Photos app. It was then opened from the Photos app into Explain Everything. Explain Everything was used to describe the pattern. And then that video that was made and screencast that was made in Explain Everything was then inserted into an ebook about patterns. To start this app smash off, I used the camera to take a picture of the student's beadwork. That photo then went to the Photos app. The next thing that was done was the app Explain Everything was used to describe the pattern in the beadwork. To do this, we simply imported an existing photo that already existed on the camera roll and brought it into the app Explain Everything. And then the features of Explain Everything were used to record down at the bottom some thinking and also to write an explanation. The next step here would be to take this video and the screencast that was made and save it as a video to the Photos app. To do this, I'm going to press the little export as a movie button and save it as a movie to the Photos app. Once it's been saved as a movie to the camera roll, you get a little pop-up message. And now what we want to do is we want to move over to our Book Creator app and insert this movie into one of the pages. So to do that, I'm going to open up my Book Creator app, open up my book on patterns, select a new page, and insert the video by pressing the plus button, choose the Photos option, choose Videos, and here's my video. And we can now see that my video is in 
my book and I can play that back. I hope this video has helped clarify the app smashing process and have fun smashing those apps.